Day at Talk Show here, and today we are going to SmackDown Live, and I'm here with my dad right now. He's going to ask me a few questions of SmackDown, and uh, what, what, what am I expecting? So the big news is Bray Wyatt defeated John Cena at the Elimination Chamber a few nights ago, and today John Cena is invoking his rematch clause. What's your prediction? Well, you know, um, I think everybody's kind of hoping that Cena's going to win. I mean, everybody's happy that Wyatt won. But it would just be—it would be crazy if Cena won. But I know it's not going to happen because it just it's, might. It, it's pretty obvious, Randy. He's—he's he's going to face Wyatt at WrestleMania, and uh, he's going to have something to do with uh, Cena losing the match tonight. And uh, I don't know. It's, it's going to go from there. So here's what I call: I think that Orton's going to come out. He's going to interfere to help out Bray Wyatt, and it's going to be to the detriment of Bray Wyatt. And Cena's going to come out the 17-time WWE Champion, and we're going to witness it at SmackDown in about three hours from now. Uh, I don't know. Like, I want that to happen, but I just can't see it happening because <laughs> I know WWE, they're not going to make a, an amazing decision like that. But we also are going to see the new women's champion, Naomi. She defeated Alexa Bliss uh, uh, on Sunday, and um, just really excited to see that. And uh, also, uh, Dean Ambrose, I think he's going to be feuding with Baron Corbin or something like that. There's a whole like storyline there at the Elimination Chamber, so just Hey, but excited. more importantly, the biggest storyline here is Tanner's two newest title belts. Oh, yeah. The WWE Spinner Championship, as well as the brand new NXT title, which you guys have not seen that video yet, um, are comfortably resting in the back seat of my car. Tanner, give him a shot. Show him. There they are. That's just a little sneak peek. I'm not going to let you see the rest. Here at SmackDown Live. On the center. Got my NXT title. Going in. Here we are at Honda Center. And uh, it's not only a popular place for WWE Live or SmackDown Live or Raw. It's a famous place for Alright guys, so we're at uh, Honda Center. We're going to our seats right now. I'm so pumped. I'm ready, guys. I am ready. I just saw a guy, and he bought three pairs of AJ Styles gloves. Totally screwing over everyone in that. That one's AJ Styles gloves, like me. But you know, it's all right. It's all right. Here's a table, so let's look at this. As you can see, this is SmackDown Live. I mean, the announcer's table's right there, and the ropes is really gonna wrestle tonight. Possibly win the title. Hey, okay, so do you think anybody's gonna go through that table today? That table? Uh, it's possible, you never know. Let's say it first. Let's see the monitors right there, how it shows the ring. Smackdown Live ring pose. All that. How hard is that? It's not hard. Oh, it's pretty hard actually. So they get like pushed against this ring. It's pretty cool. WrestleMania coming up. Your seats. Oh, they're amazing. It's like being on the floor. Well, we are on the floor, pretty much. And look what's right above you. WrestleMania, son. Too bad we can't go. It's in Orlando. Never say never.
tonight for the WWE Championship, baby. AJ Styles versus Bray Wyatt versus John Cena.
film night was over and they filmed 205. And I gotta say, the best match of the night was probably the triple threat for the WWE Championship. So, uh, yeah, this, is, this, this was the best SmackDown I've been to yet. I've only been to two, this is the only one. I, yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. But it was just a great, my, a great night overall. So. Okay, so in the beginning, there was barely anybody here and I got to go ringside, see the ring up close and the uh, announcer's uh, table, so it was pretty cool. And I got to meet up with some WWE fans, talk show fans, they're really cool. So Tanner, that was an awesome, amazing SmackDown. What, what are your takeaway thoughts from what you experienced today? Um, I just think it was it was a great. I, I I didn't expect it to be this good, to be honest. I didn't. I knew there was going to be a title match, but I didn't know it was going to be a triple threat match. And that triple threat match kicked major, major butt. It was it was great. It was great. Well, here's my takeaway: was the crowd was so ridiculously loud. That's what I'm going to remember. It was the most deafening crowd noise since. SummerSlam, like four or five years ago we went, right? Yeah, four or five years ago. It was pretty good. I loved it. And what were your favorite chants? Oh, 10, 10, 10. So when somebody is outside of the ring, you're like counting, like when the ref is counting one, two, they'd be like 10, 10. The audience would. It was funny. So we just got done seeing SmackDown. What do you want to do now? I want to go to Disneyland. That's what I want to do. Hey, it's right up the street. Let's go. <laughs> Next video, fan talk show video, out.